Hey y'all, welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've done one like this. Um, I posted my Instagram live. I'm trying to post those continuously um, as they come out, but I'm having some trouble with that. So I thought I would touch base here because I'm doing something a little interesting right now. Um, some of you uh, who may be interested in like parasite cleanses and colon cleanses, We'll find this interesting. Others will probably be grossed out. So if you're grossed out, just get out of here. It's fine. Watch another video. Um, right now I'm doing a Blessed Herbs colon cleanse and I will be talking to you about that and sharing my results with you. First, just to show y'all what's going on here, this is the box it comes in. It's very cute. Um, and then inside the box, I, I've like kind of taken everything out and put my recycling in there. But basically what comes in is you've got 30 of these packets, toxin absorber, and they have psyllium husk powder, chlorella powder, apple, apple pectin, ginger root, cilantro. So this formula draws out matter from the intestines and like adheres to it. It's really like a broom for your colon. Um, very, very effective. And I'm thinking also with the cilantro and chlorella in particular, um, there's some heavy metal situations happening and I'm definitely experiencing that. My tongue <laughs> is really white and it i've had a metallic taste in my mouth so i'm i'm thinking that is definitely happening right now some heavy metal detox with that cilantro in there so what you do it's really simple it comes with this dosage guide and i'm basically not really doing what they say to do but they give you three options you can do a nine day an eight day or I don't know, another amount of days, five day, no, eight day, nine day, and 30 day. You can do it where you don't even change your diet at all. Um, they give you a good, better, best. And I'm doing best because I want max results. And on the best version, what they tell you to do, they have like kind of a pre-cleanse um, few days. But what I did is I just did all liquids for three days. I did my morning celery juice, a green smoothie, a green smoothie, and then a, a raw vegan soup for dinner. And I did that for three days. And then starting with day one, I switched over to only water, not even herbal tea, and 40 ounces of apple juice every day. It's in here, you can't see it. <laughs> um, and what you do is you divide that 40 ounces of apple juice up. I've been doing five different times. So eight ounces, five times a day. And you stir in one of these toxin absorber packets. So put your apple juice in here, your toxin absorber, shake it really good. They give you this, it's really nice. And you take that five times a day. Again, this is my modified um, edition of that. So yeah. It's intense and um, you also take these and they suggest you find your number starting out with one. Um, I've heard of people taking like 9, 10, 15. So I went with, I divided this, it comes with 90. I divided it by um, six or, or seven because I'm. there are enough of these to fast for six days. Um, doing just the apple juice and these so that was kind of the number I'm, I'm working with and I divided these up by six and that would give me 15 a day but what I'm choosing to do is actually 12 a day and then save some for after refeeding if I need them this is my day three now I'm actually feeling well enough and inspired enough to do this video on day one, I started out feeling, you know, normal. I got out of bed. I hadn't done anything. I just had the liquids the, the day prior and I did my workout, had lots of energy, great workout, you know, started on my work for the day and then began drinking my toxin absorber packets and I progressively just felt 
worse and worse and low energy. Um, I had a terrible headache. I was having low back pain, which I had heard people mention. And that can mean that your this basically is bulking up in your intestines and then that's pushing on your sciatic nerve and your nerves. And I was like, oh my God, the back pain's happening. Like it was so weird. And yeah, this, the pounding headache, extremely nauseous. I did not want to eat anything. I was thinking, okay, this cleanse is going to be easy in the respect that I don't want food at all. Like I don't even want to drink these drinks. So, um, but in the respect of having detox kicking my butt and I was not thinking it would be that intense of a detox experience because I was eating raw vegan prior to this. I've been vegan a long time. I've been raw, high raw for a long time. Yeah, but it was really tough. My day one was super tough. Um, I had like one, maybe two natural bowel movements that day. And then by the end of the day, I knew I felt so, so bad that I knew I had to do some enemas. So I did um, many <laughs> enemas, like more than I've probably done um, in a day. I've done, I did five actually is what it took. And, um, you know, released a good bit of matter, no mucoid plaque or anything. And then I went to bed and, um, oh, I took these too. I took 12 of these is what I decided. So I took those, 12 of those all before bed. And then I slept for 12 hours, woke up the next day. I didn't feel as bad. I felt a little better in the morning. My headache finally went away. I made an effort on day two to drink even more water, which I think really helped because it was kind of in my head. Like I meant, I had heard of other people saying that this had actually constipated them. And I was like, oh my God, I don't want that to happen because I'm, you know, dehydrated or something. I did do a big camping trip um, a few days right before I started the pre-cleanse. So I thought, you know, I really want to hydrate myself a lot. And that's part of the instructions too. After you have your juice with your toxin absorber, you also, you drink 16 ounces of water. Just fill this back up with water and chug it down. And day two, I was even trying to do an additional pint after my toxin absorber, just because I really wanted to help things um, move and be hydrated inside me as these are drawing everything out. So I felt pretty bad yesterday, got some work done, talked to a friend. Um, but yeah, I, I just chilled. Like I didn't have a lot of energy instead of doing my normal workout. I just did stretching and mobility therapy. And then I hung out with my cat all day. She's very pregnant. So we were both just like lounging and, and not doing anything. So it was a perfect match for me. Um, that night I did, last night, day two nighttime, I did three enemas I think and I started having the mucoid plaque come out yeah I was so happy because I knew when you're feeling that much detox it's because something is inside you and like the toxins are being reabsorbed so I knew there was a lot in me and seeing that start to come out last night um really reaffirm for me that this cleanse is working like it's it's gonna work it's gonna be very effective um it's not constipating me so that was great um what else so yeah i did those enemas okay the more about the mucoid black <laughs> i didn't take pictures i might take pictures i don't know um i've done that in the past but Basically, this is like the major TMI warning. I did not have any natural bowel movements day two. So the enemas were very important. This cleanse recommends you have to have at least one bowel movement a day. Hopefully you're having even more than that, three or four. But if you're not, an enema is extremely helpful. Or if you feel like you still need release, then enema is really helpful. So the mucoid plaque, it, it does come out like ropes. Um, it's all attached. Sometimes if you've done enemas before, you'll see like just kind of brown water coming out with some matter. This was different because it was ropes like coming out. It wasn't any of the brown water. The water was clear and then it was these ropes of 
of matter and they were shaped like you know this like the, the inside of your colon so that was pretty wild and it also was like what i was <laughs> the description that came to me was like chains of pellets because it would be like different hardened stools um encased by i think whatever's in this the um psyllium husk and the apple apple pectin powder in particular just chaining it all together so it can be passed out as a unit and uh, instead of just a little bit coming out it's like the whole thing coming out so a lot of that came out of me i was very happy about that felt a lot better and I slept well last night, back to like normal, eight hours, um, not excessive. And I woke up this morning feeling a lot better. So that's day day one, day two. Um, this is day three. I've had one of these already. And I was just gonna mix up another one here so y'all could see what that's like. So I'm just using my measuring glass. My apple juice I'm making all at once in the morning because that's the most um, time effective thing. So it smells so good, the apple juice. It's a real treat. I don't normally do fruit juice, so this has been kind of a treat in a way. But I was having to basically force these down the first two days. And even yesterday I only did four of them because I just, I felt really not good. So. Here is the eight ounces of apple juice going into my shaker cup. And we've got the toxin absorber packet, which the first couple times I had this, I was like, this tastes fine. And it does, it tastes fine. But if you start having major detox symptoms, then you're gonna associate the flavor and the texture of this with like feeling terrible. So it will start to make you like, bleh, like not, not be a pleasant experience. But the one I had earlier today, I didn't really mind, you know, it was, it was okay. It's also important that you choke this down pretty quick because of all that fiber, it will thicken up and it becomes like a weird sludge, which is not very pleasant or easy to get down. So shake it up really well. Bottoms up. That's the way to do it. Look at my mouth. <laughs> now immediately after what I'm doing here, so I've just filled this up with water. Shake to get the rest. And then I will drink this. Okay, so those are happening for me every two hours is how I'm doing it. Um, they suggest two and a half to three hours, depending on your protocol. This protocol, like I said, I'm doing something a little different. They suggest doing, oh, I think one in the morning and one in the evening if you're fasting, but I'm doing the, the supercharged way and it's working so far, so. I will come back to y'all soon with updates on, you know, how the rest of this day went, day four, day five, day six, um, and let you know how it's going. Maybe I'll take pictures, maybe not. We'll see. But thank you so much for watching. Much love to you. Namaste.